So I snuck out last night and got into a car crash. <laughs> it's a long story, so buckle up. So last night, my dad wanted me to come home just so that he could talk about kicking me out and taking away my car and we could just talk everything out. So I was there for about seven hours and my dad went to bed around eight o'clock at night and around 10 o'clock at night, I was really bored and I just wanted to go out and do something. And that's when my friend Vanessa hit me up and she was like, yo, do you want to go like do something? And of course I said yes, because I was bored. So she's like, okay, cool. I'll be there in 15 minutes. So I get ready and then she picks me up and Vanessa's driving her friend Olivia's in the passenger seat and I'm in the back passenger seat. So we're driving around figuring out what to do and we decide to go down the most haunted road in my state, which I have made plenty of videos on. And unfortunately I will never be filming another video on that road. But anyways, we decide to go down that road just to like do something just do something so we go down that road the first time nothing happens nothing scary happens mm -mm. so we're like what the what the heck like we want something scary to happen so we decide to turn around and go down the road again so we turn around and we start going down the road again and as we're going down the road the second time i get a really bad feeling in my stomach that something bad is gonna happen and so did vanessa and so did olivia so we decided to go a little fast down this road which is not a good idea because this road is pitch black in the middle of the woods is haunted and has literal 90 degree angle turns on it it is a curvy dark road that is haunted like i'm telling you even going 20 miles an hour down that road is risky so we're going down that road we're trying to get out of there as fast as we can because we all just had bad feelings and all of a sudden two cars pull up behind our car so basically my friend vanessa picks me up and her friend olivia's in the passenger seat and i'm in the back passenger seat and we decide to go down the most haunted road in my state so we go down the road the first time nothing happens so we're like let's turn around go down the road again and see if something spooky happens because we want it to be spooked so we turn around to go back down the road again and as soon as we start going down it the second time i get a really bad feeling in my stomach and so does vanessa and so does olivia so we start going a little speedy down the road just to get out of there as fast as possible which is not a good idea on that road because it's in the middle of the woods there are extremely sharp turns on that road it's pitch black and oh not to mention it's literally haunted like even going 20 miles an hour on that road is pushing it so we're speeding down the road and all of a sudden a car comes behind us and this car starts getting on the butt of our car like literally tailgating us and i actually have a video of when the first car pulled up So right after that video, a second car pulled up behind that car. So now there were two cars behind us. And since this road is so curvy, we were kind of driving in the middle of the road just so that we have more control when we're turning down the road. So then both of the cars go on the side of our car. So we're driving in the middle of the road, one car's on the side of us and one car's on the other side of us. So it's literally three cars driving the same way down the middle of the road. So we're obviously freaking out because one, what are they doing? Are they gonna pew pew us? And second off, this is a really curvy road. So if we come up to a curve in the middle of these cars, it's going to be a three-way crash end of story so my friend vanessa starts speeding up to try to get away from them and they just speed up with her so at that point she slams on the brakes and the two cars just zoom off and when she slams on the brakes that's when she loses control of the car so we're driving down the most haunted road in my state and these two cars go on the side of my friend's car so it's literally three cars driving down the road like going the same way it's some random car my friend's car and then another car and we're freaked out for obvious reasons because one, are they going to pew pew us? And two, if we come up on a curve on this road, we're going to get into a three-way collision. That's it. So my friend who's driving starts speeding up to try to get away from the cars, and they just speed up with her. So at that point, my friend slams on the brakes, and two cars who were on the side of her just boom, zoom off. And as soon as she slams on the brakes, she loses control of the car. The car just starts turning, and then she turns the wheel with the car, and all I hear is the tires squealing, and the car just starts spinning in a circle like a full 360. I'm hearing tires squealing, I see just the trees going past my view like everything's just spinning in a circle and like it hadn't set in that we were literally in a car crash until we hit something we're literally spinning in a circle we're literally spinning when all of a sudden there's a big boom on my side of the car i was in the back passenger seat and that's where we hit whatever we hit at that point that's when it like set in that we just got into a car crash and as soon as we hit something i felt an instant pain down my back and my head like slammed against the window and i'm just feeling this excruciating pain on on my back and at this point i'm freaking out because i'm like what else are we gonna hit like what else is gonna happen like i'm i'm gonna die then the car spins like one more time and it just stops so my friend vanessa who's driving immediately gets out of the car and so does her friend in the passenger seat olivia and i try opening my door but it literally won't open because we got into a collision on my side so my door was like locked shut and i'm just sitting there screaming at the top of my lungs i can't feel my legs i can't feel my legs 
So basically the car crashes and the car stops spinning. My friend Vanessa who was driving immediately gets out of the car and so does my friend who was in the passenger seat gets out of the car. So I try getting out of the car but my door won't open because my side of the car like the back passenger seat is what was like hit in the fucking car crash so i can't open my door and then i like realize i'm in a lot of pain and i can't move my legs and all i feel is like this insanely horrible pain on my back and my legs and i like can't move them so i'm sitting in the back seat literally screaming i can't feel my legs i can't feel my leg and i just start bawling my eyes out so then my friend who was driving opens the door on the other side of the back seat and literally pulls me out of the car she helps me stand up and i'm literally sitting there like limping i'm like i cannot move my leg it hurts so bad so after a couple minutes of them like trying to calm me down i'm able to walk and i feel my legs but they're just in a lot of pain like i cannot explain to you guys the pain that i was feeling in my legs and like my uh what do you call it like tailbone it was oh my god and my head's hurting because i slammed it up against the window and i'm talking to my two other friends who were in the car the driver was like yeah i'm fine but the passenger had hit her head really hard on the window like really hard on the window so at that point after calming down a little bit we look around to see the damage of the car and what we hit so basically while we were spinning we hit a light post which is this we hit it so hard it literally snapped in half like this is the picture i took and we hit the light post so hard that the top of it literally flew across the field like this is the top of it it flew off we hit it that hard like i want you guys to think about that and this was the car this is where we hit the light post and this is where i was sitting i was sitting right back here so obviously i got like the most impact here's the full picture here's like the full picture of the car yeah kind of scary because if the light post literally was one foot closer and hit my door i would be in critical condition right now and if it hit the tire the car would have kept spinning and hit a house that was 20 feet away from where our car stopped spinning. A concrete house. Or we would have hit a tree. So we got really lucky. So as soon as I finally get out of the car and I kind of calm down, I call my dad, I tell him what happened. And I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna need you to pick me up because I snuck out and we got into a car crash. So my friend who was driving, Vanessa, calls her dad. And the passenger, Olivia, calls her mom to pick her up. So we're sitting there for like 10 minutes waiting for a ride. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, three cop cars pull up. <laughs> they take down all of our information we tell them what happened they didn't really care at all to be honest i had to lie to them and say that i was fine because i didn't want to go in an ambulance or whatever but my dad picked me up he wasn't really mad he was just happy i was safe but then this morning i went to the hospital um i literally cannot walk without being in pain and they basically told me that i tore a pelvic muscle and i have a small concussion so i literally cannot walk without being in pain but i'm so thankful i'm alive and okay and we all got really lucky but please be safe. I'm never going down that road again. I'm sorry, guys. So thankful it wasn't more serious. I finally updated my TikTok app, so now I could post a longer story time. So I'm going to talk about something that happened a couple days ago, because I'm not even going to lie, I'm kind of scared. So basically, I had my Snapchat set to everybody could Snapchat me, even people that like I didn't have added back. In hindsight, I should never have uh, had it set to that. <laughs> So anyway, I get a Snapchat from a random person, and he's like, send me your Snapchat and phone number so I could send you money with a smiley face. And I get DMs all the time on Instagram of people that just want to send me money on Cash App, so I was like, alright. I mean, what's the worst that could happen for me just sending, you know, my Cash App and phone number? Not a big deal, you know? That's what I thought. Don't ever think like that, because <laughs> you will get caught up in something like I did. And I know I did this to myself, so I don't need to hear it in the comments, like, I, I was the dumb person in this equation. But anyway, he answers and sends me a screenshot of him sending me $1,600 on Cash App, but it said pending so at first i was like oh bet like thanks but then all of a sudden he starts spamming me saying you need to send me 80 dollars because we both need to put 80 dollars each into the bitcoin thing so that um on cash app it'll like give me the 1600 and it'll send it to you and then we both make 800 and like da 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 da, -da. and i was like wait what I was like, I did not agree to send you money to make money. Like, I was just saying, like, sure, you want to send me money? Like, I'll take some money. So anyway, he starts spamming my phone, being like, you're scamming me. That's messed up. Like, I trusted you. Da -da -da. I was like, obviously, you're a scammer. Like, I don't understand. Like, I I'm just going to block you. And he was like, I know all your card information. Your card number starts with, and then he said these four digits. So then I got scared because I thought he actually knew my card number. So I was saying to him, hold on, I'm trying to set up my Apple Pay right now so I could pay you. I was like, my dad's helping me set up my Apple Pay, which he wasn't. I was on my way to the bank so that they could change my card number. 
just in case you know he actually had my information. So I go to the bank, thank god I only live 7 minutes away from it. And I'm talking to the lady and I'm telling her what's happening and I was kind of in panic mode, I was tearing up a little bit, I was just freaking out. And she was like, honey, like all card numbers start with those four digits. She was like, it's so unlikely that he actually knows your information, like he's just saying that to scare you into sending him the money. And I was like, wait, really? And she was like, yeah, like watch, I'm gonna send you a new card in the mail and it's going to start with those four digits as well because all cards that have been like made recently starts with those four digits. So I felt a little bit relieved and then I blocked the guy. But I still continued to get messages from this guy. He told me that he works with the services, like he's in the Navy and he sent me pictures of himself in his Navy uniform saying that he's gonna sue me and I'm gonna get in so much trouble and they're gonna take this to court because I scared him and he's like i have all your card information i'm gonna post it and spam it like literally threatening me over 80 dollars like it's so sad like you really need 80 dollars that bad bro <laughs> so this story time is so funny you guys i completely forgot about this until i looked through my old snapchat memories and an old video came up of this day so as some of you guys may know i used to work at six flags when i was in high school it was a terrible experience, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about one of the perks that I got working at Six Flags. So I was allowed to bring one person and myself for free to Six Flags on any of my days off. So I was best friends with this one girl, and every chance that we got, we would go to Six Flags. The only thing was that this friend of mine hated roller coasters. She was completely terrified of them, so we never went on them. Until one day, I convinced her. Don't ask me how I did it because I have no idea. I'm a very persuasive person, so I was just like pushing, 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 and I just like basically didn't let her say no. Not gonna lie, it's one of my toxic traits, but we'll talk about that another time. So anyway, there's a roller coaster ride, it's called El Toro, and it doesn't go upside down or anything, and that was one of the main things my friend said is that she does not want to go upside down. But this ride is still a pretty intense ride, it's the fastest ride at Six Flags, other than King Naka. So I take her on El Toro, right? So she's obviously super nervous. So the first drop, she's screaming, I'm screaming. Then I feel all her body weight on me, so I'm laughing, but I look over to her, and she went limp. Like, as if she fell asleep. Then we go up again, she starts screaming. We go down again, she goes limp. Over and over and over. 